a clean impact team. Hope your day is off to a fantastic start. The sun is out, the heat is up, and being spectacular is high on our priority list. Being remarkable is high on our priority list because we're a remarkable team. Thank you all so much for being part of this. Uh, first off, just wanted to mention that we are going to have our monthly company-wide team meeting this Saturday live at the Mullet. Please, I know it's a little short notice, but it's always going to be the second Saturday at 9 a.m. We're always going to meet up here at the shop uh, to, to discuss kind of where we're going, uh, where we've been, and how we can continue to get better as a team. So that's this Saturday, 9 a.m. live at the Mullet. Please make sure you're sending a text to Leanne to let her know you're able to make it and how many guests you're going to be bringing so we can have enough food because of course we want to make sure that we're nourishing our bodies while we're nourishing our minds. It's really important. Now along those same notes of nourishing our minds, I want you guys to take a journey with me real quick. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Think about the Friday before Memorial Day, right? Just another normal work day. But you have the goal, you have, you're anticipating being off for a couple of days and that's exciting, right? You're anticipating the joy of spending time with your family and doing things that you want to do and not being on somebody else's time frame Unless you're married, of course, and you're on your wife's time frame, but that's okay too. But just close your eyes, take a journey with me. Friday morning, right before Memorial Day, you're excited, you're jazzed up, you go to work and everything seems to be going right. Nothing could go wrong. You're happy, your whole office is happy, everybody is energized and everybody has good motives and, and, and spirits. Why is this? Why is this? Again, it's because you have something to look forward to. You have an extra day off to look forward to and that excites a lot of people. But you know what else can excite you is if you do the, use that same strategy of looking forward to something good, you can be excited like that every day. Every day in life can be exciting if you just frame your mornings and your days properly. Think about it. It's exciting today to wake up because the sun is out. It's exciting to wake up today because you know you're going to live up to your full, full potential. You're going to give it everything you have and you're going to be your personal best. That's positive affirmation first thing in the morning. My family does this every single morning. We talked about this before where we're doing our morning huddles. We discuss what activities we have coming up tonight. Do we have soccer? Do we have karate? Do you, do you, are you going to visit our parents? Or what's going on tonight? What are the needs that you have? Do you need me to help you out with anything? Do you need me to run around? Do, do the kids need picked up? Do we need to make sure I have dinner ready? What is going to be for dinner tonight? That's the third thing we talk about. What do we have going on? What's our schedule look like? What do we have, uh, you know, are there any needs that you need from, from the other person to help out with or from your kids to help out with? Um, what are we going to do for dinner? Is it going to be leftovers? Are we going to fend for ourselves? What's going on? Then we do that positive affirmation. This is, again, where your mind is getting set and you're setting your altitude for the rest of the day. So you can be positive. You can be positive. And this can be something as simple as I will so that I will be my best so that I radiate energy and good energy towards others. Or like me, I am a man who is passionate and patient. And we'll listen, we'll listen fully to those around me so that I can be a better example. That's my positive affirmation. Then, of course, we say a prayer because prayer is extremely important, too. It's not only the positive affirmation of getting your mindset right and getting your, your days lined out, but also giving that prayer and thanks to God for all the glorious things you have, guys. We have to remember all the little things, all the positive nuances that we have going on every day in life. All these little things are, are, are so great, but we overlook them because we're selfish. We're thinking about what all we need to do or, or this and that. Think about that Friday before Memorial Day and the energy and the positivity you have and use that knowledge to help frame your other days. Frame that Monday or that Tuesday after Memorial Day when everybody is all you know, worn out from the week and they've done their thing. Use that narrative to position yourself positively for that Tuesday after Memorial Day, for that Wednesday after Memorial Day. For every single day that you wake up, use that, that understanding to make yourself better, to put yourself in a positive light. Your kids are going to see this. Your family's going to see this. Your spouse is going to see this. Your community and those that are around you are going to notice this wonderful energy. And that's going to bring them positive vibes. And that's going to perpetuate this positive feeling just because we took the time to be aware of where we're at in our minds, to set the altitude and the attitude right first thing in the morning with that positive affirmation, and to be our best because we said we we're going to, to do the things that we said we're going to do because we said we're going to do it. Guys, these are things that we can work on together as a team because we are the best team in the entire world. We're the best team in the entire world. And the more that we understand that, the more that we're around each other, the more that we're spending time together and watching these videos and interacting with each other, the better we're going to be together as a complete unit, as a complete team of professionals. 
The best way to do that again, guys, is to watch these videos, pay attention to them, make comments, leave examples, give examples of what you're doing or how, you're, how it's impacting you. How is this impacting your life? Leave those examples for everybody else. If you're thinking it, other people are thinking it, and if you need it, other people need it too. That's why I make these videos. The second thing we need to do is make sure we're coming together in person, live at the Mullet for our, our company-wide meetings. Come with energy, come with advice, come with uh, ideas, come with an open mind to be your best and to be around people that are striving to be their best too, guys. We are creating an environment that is inclusive, an environment that, that, that allows us to grow together allows us to be our best together. We're creating this environment, but it takes us all. It takes every one of you. It takes dedication. It takes uh, a vision and it takes intention. You have to intentionally show up. You have to intentionally watch these videos. You have to intentionally apply what we're talking about in your life so you can be that positive energy, that positive vibe, that positive beacon of strength to all those that are looking to you. Remember, more is caught than is taught. Let them catch you being remarkable. Let them catch you working on yourself so you can be your best and show up your best and then they in turn will be their best. Let's see you at the meeting this Saturday, 9 a.m. live in person. Make sure you're texting Leanne. Let her know that you're gonna be able to make it and how many people are coming with you so we can have enough food. The food is delicious. The food is homemade. And the food is made with love because we are passionate about serving you. Tell us what we can do to help you. Tell us what you need. Tell us what you would like. Tell us what you would like to see. We want to serve you. We want to serve you. Tell us what you need. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank y'all so much for being part of it. This was kind of a long video, but it was passionate and it comes from my heart because I want us to be our best, guys. I want us to be our best and show up our best so we can influence the next generation to be their best. More is caught than is taught. Visualize that Friday before Memorial Day, the, the energy and the, the, the passion that you have that day and use that as a stimulus to help you through the rest of the days. Appreciate y'all. Have a good day.